Hi, Josh. I'm Lucy. Hello. Nice How to meet you? you. Nice to meet you as well. I love the glasses. Yeah. Very Clark Kent. Oh, are they? Oh, wow. Hang on. Could we not go for Superman next role? <laughs> I was, uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> so you've gone from heartthrob to living in Peckham. Talk uh, me through that move. <laughs> I don't live in Peckham. Uh, oh, but, right. Uh, sorry. I yeah. thought you live in London. Yeah, well, no. We're, we're here uh, part-time. We have two children who are, were born here. And, um, I love. I mean, can you can you not be a heartthrob who lives in London? You absolutely can. We well, love then, that you are. Okay, great. But we're we're here part time. We're most mostly in the states these days, unfortunately. But we're back for Christmas, which is nice. You say unfortunately? Is it you? Just I love, love it here. Yeah. What do you so, love about the Brits? Well, here's the thing. I grew. I spent 22 years living in New York, and London is very similar to New York. And I really enjoy like the access. The city has such great cultural kind of amenities. It's just it's it's an it's a fun place to be, and I'm used to living in a city, so I really enjoy it here. It's better than L.A. I mean, no offense to L.A., but <laughs> yeah. I have to spend time there for work, and I like it here. So you're accustomed to the fish and chips, the mash and... The mash and I can eat everything. And stuff. Yes, I can eat almost everything, <laughs> if you can believe it. So, as that said, you watch your stuff back, I mean, and no. that is a really stupid question. But at I Christmas really time, don't. you're not tempted to put the family down, watch your classics? They can watch whatever they like, I just don't want to, no. Do no. your kids know what you've been in? No, my kids are very young, no. Oh, right, no. And, and will you sit them down, and will you say no. why would I I want them to be as unadulterated as possible when they grow up I don't want them to have any sort of knowledge of what we do if they can help it um, of course they're going to be in the middle of it in some way but it's it's nice that they're just children you know having a good life yeah because obviously your, your your partner is also an actress yes so you want them to shy away from the Hollywood world for a bit yes <laughs> yes I heard a really great response to this recently. Someone said, why wouldn't you put your kids in film? And I think this actor said, because I don't believe in child abuse. <laughs> you know, kids on set, it's difficult. I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want that for my child. So inside uh, tonight, there's so many well-known faces. Do you yes. get overwhelmed by anyone? Because you must have met a lot of people. Well, I've been doing it for 22 years. And uh, I guess I went through that stage very early on. And I am now just nervous about talking in front of people. I'm not a big, you know, I, I, I get a lot of anxiety about these sort of events because I have to go up on stage and read and nothing ever works the way you hope it will that's the only problem yeah. for me it's better to be on stage with someone else's words doing a play maybe so it's this. very different from acting to being you this is you. very different yeah I could never be a presenter it would not you know what you do is impossible for me really and yes. what do you think that is because just because of in your mindset or uh, because I don't know because I didn't train in it it's not really my cup of tea I don't have a I, I don't have a horse in that race I never really worked at it and it's just for me. It's like hearing your voice back on, a, you know, on a voice message. It's all kind of grading, you know, nails on chalkboard or whatever. That seems strange for me hearing that from an actor. Yeah. Are, you, are you still going to do lots more stuff? Have you still got much stuff lined up? Yeah, I've got a few movies that are coming out. That I, uh, what I've got three in the can right now that haven't come out yet. Uh, I don't, yeah, I, I just, I'm continually writing and, and starting to direct and I've produced a couple of things recently and, and now just, uh, yeah, still acting, yeah. And what is this? It's, it's surprising, mean, <laughs> it's amazing. terrifies me that you don't know I'm still acting. All right. <laughs> no, All right. I do know that you're still acting. <laughs> okay. But anything else that you still want to do? do you, anything, boxes you want to tick in regards to starring with X, Y, Z? No, it's mostly directors. I love working with sp specific people who um, who I meet hopefully through like either a good meeting or through just circumstance over the uh, just time that I'm out there in the in the public eye. But I I really when I meet somebody that I connect with on an intellectual level, I just want to go and do something with them and see what we can come up with. And it's not necessarily about. Uh, career path as much as it's about just the kind of exploration of that particular project and I've been lucky enough to be able to do that for a long time so and how have you found Hollywood's changed since you've been in it 22 years have you found it different for women especially now I don't know my second film uh, my third film actually was directed by a woman um, and I've worked with, subsequently with a lot of filmmakers who are women um, and I guess I've had a different viewpoint than a lot of people have because I've spent so much time working with female directors um, I don't know. I think it has changed quite a bit recently, but I, you know, only for the better. It's good that everybody's getting heard and mm. we're kind of moving in the direction where we're going to have some, uh, I think, some parody, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Thank you very yeah. much indeed. It's Thank a pleasure you. to meet you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Cheers. Take care. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Oh, what? Yeah. 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 Yeah